We'll just. <laughs> Welcome to the weasel, welcome to the weasel, whip out your dicks and shove them in your ass. Welcome to the weasel with Mike and Jonah. Narcissist, he was he was a man who loved himself and uh, somebody, some goddess, goddess cursed a fucking pond, right? And then he became so infatuated with his reflection that he like I can't remember if he just sat there until he died looking at himself or if he fell into the pond and drowned or was pulled in by the goddess I forget but yeah I don't know that sounds sounds like a pretty good way to go looking at yourself we'll talk about an exercise in in, in self love you know Mm. and and if you get one of those like obsessive, like I'm just finding so much beauty in this thing moments. Have you ever mm. had those? You know, like I'm like uh psychedelics is a good way to get yourself there. Mm. Like you, you take a psychedelic, you fucking stare at the fucking wall residue, you know, yeah. residue <laughs> pattern on the, the fucking side of this glass. Yeah. For, and you're just so infatuated with it. And you're like, damn. Like, that's something so beautiful to look at. But it's you, and you're just like, whoa. Damn, I look fucking good, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That must be cool. Just so sucked into yourself that you just become yourself Well, in a way. Well, and I don't know about you, but, but like, whenever I look in a mirror right now, like, like, like my brain goes to flaws. Mm. I'm looking at I'm looking at like, damn, Jonah, you looking kind of fucking chunky right now, you big <laughs> fat bitch. Why don't you fucking do something? But yeah, it, I, I mean, I mean, I mean, actually, right now I'm feeling I'm feeling okay, just because I think the stress of this new house is keeping me skinny. Yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, like, like a stress much. skinny, drinking more. <laughs> like it's not healthy. Like like I like I don't look good, but like you ain't fat. Kind of skinny though. <laughs> hey man, dude, that's like thousands of anorexics' wet dream, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, so, uh, but at least me, like when it, it, I, that's what I was saying right before this was that like I think human beings have been obsessed with mirrors mm. since we ever found a shiny enough surface, yeah, to look at our reflection, and we're like, oh fuck, that's what other people are seeing when they see me. God mm. damn. Or, or like, okay, good, good, doing well. Or like, damn, I look like shit. Mm. Like, I think ever since we had that ability, the, like the mirror is one of the coolest things. That that's one of the coolest pieces of art. I think you can, you can really look at. Mm. Well, because the art changes too, because it's you, right? You you have the power to make that art really nice looking or really shite. Uh, and mirrors are a constant reminder of. Not just the reality of what you look like, because I don't even think it necessarily is. Because you've heard of that concept where when you look at a reflection of yourself, you're not actually seeing what other people see, right? Because your brain can only recognize like a certain percentage of what you actually look like. And then to everybody else, you look like different because of the, the way you look at yourself as well. When you look at a mirror, you're looking at yourself directly on. Right, which mm-hmm. looks completely different from like when I look, like say at myself in the in the camera, right? Because it's kind of pointing at an angle, right? Completely different looking. But I think the the brain also plays a, a little bit of a trick there too, because um, when you when when you look at yourself in a mirror, depending on how you feel that day, could completely change the way you look at yourself right like you could be feeling fucking awesome about like just getting done at the gym or going for a run you come home you're full of confidence and fucking piss and vinegar and you're just like fucking man that dude looks fucking sexy dude and then you fucking stub your toe and you fucking smash a hole in the wall out of anger and then you look in the mirror and you're like fuck I, that motherfucker just smashed a hole in my fucking wall you know completely different does that make sense uh 
I think so. In, in that you're saying that how you feel determines how you view your physically view yourself in a mirror. Yeah, I, I think don't like I don't know I if I a, agree. I think a mirror shows you not what you look like, but how you see yourself. Right? So it, it shows you hmm. your iniquities if that's what you choose to see in yourself. It it shows you your uh uh cool things. The opposite word of iniquities or the cool stuff about yourself. If I've never even heard the fucking word iniquity before. Inequities, inadequate, oh, inadequacies. The, and I think it's inadequacies. But there's two. I kind of like the way you said it. It's two different words. Uh, we'll just you know, I'm a dictionary, I'm a dictionary. I've never gotten a word wrong in my entire life. That's how I see myself in this mirror of. In the mirror, so, <sighs> dude. I think that for me, like the mirror represents a version of like absolute truth. Mm. Like, and, and maybe I rely a little too much on this, but whenever I look in the mirror, uh, let's say I'm, uh, I don't know, like, like trying to lose weight, trying to work out. Like I definitely look at the mirror to determine my progress. And, like, I know whenever I look good. Hey, you know what, dude? Now that, you, now that you say that, I'm thinking, like, I'm like, maybe I don't know. Because mm. I'm thinking about the moments where, like, maybe my mental, like, I haven't been working out. And so whenever I look at the mirror, I just fucking, I'm so much more, like, looking for, okay, yeah, I bet I'm looking a little more tubby. Mm. Oh, I am. Yeah, so I wonder how much that that affects how I see myself, like, like my Maybe. level of of self love and care determines if I think that I look good or not. Yeah, like rather than seeing what actually is, you're seeing the the way you feel about the decisions you've made, right? You're seeing the fact that you feel bad about not working out even though you're fucking balls tired and whatever but you you know you're not working out and that makes you feel bad and so when you go and look in the mirror you're seeing that negative emotion in the form of oh shit i'm getting a little bit fucking tubby now um gotta do something about that mm, yeah man i wonder what it was like before mirrors well, I don't know, dude. I think people probably like you just had no idea the, what you looked like. Yeah. I mean, it, well, and like I guess you can like kind of see your reflection like in water. So like, there's probably always been some level of like you know what you look like. Yeah, yeah. Reflections in water, and then when I guess whenever they first started making metal, you could see a reflection of yourself in metal. But that would be so distorted as well, you know. Like, it's hard to fall in love with your rough reflection of yourself in a fucking, like, flowing river or a pond, you know? Well, and, like, you really don't understand what you look like from no. there. It just, it's a weird perspective because you're looking you're down. You're just like, oh, I kind of, yeah. Yeah, I do have long hair. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, Touching yourself. Whoa. And then you fucking go on about your day because you have to go kill a mammoth to eat yeah. that week, you know? Yeah, yeah, I guess that is a stage in um like child development. Mm. I'm I'm going to butcher this, but uh I took a class a while ago about like kind of the stages that you go through as you develop. And I think around like 3 3 years old, um mm. they call it the mirror stage. Mm. And they literally call it the mirror stage because it's usually that's about the first time whenever you see a reflection of yourself yeah. that you start to understand like um like something start something along the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. something along the lines of like, oh fuck. It's like, oh, it's I not exist. just everything in the world isn't just what I'm seeing out of my eyes. It's mm. Oh, I'm now I'm seeing a reflection of myself and you start wrapping your head around this concept of like that's what I look like, like mm. oh I see other like okay. So like there's other there's other things than just in my immediate world, I think is 
somewhere along these lines. Right. So if you if you interact a baby with a mirror earlier, does that jumpstart that process? Or do they look at that reflection and just think, holy shit, there's another fucking whatever that is? I don't know, man. I think uh, I th- I think the 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 latter there. Mm-hmm. So like, it takes until they're about three years old to understand that like the thing that they're looking at is a reflection of themselves. Like yeah. like you can show a ba- you can show a fucking baby a mirror, but it's 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 not gonna know what the fuck it's looking at. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. It it takes until I think this whatever the stage is. I think it's around three. Okay. That you start being like, oh fuck. That thing in the shiny bit is me. That's me. Ooh, that's me. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah. honestly, <clears throat> that's kind of a mind fuck moment, man. Like, yeah, I, I get that. Like, that's kind of a... Uh... Well, and you don't know anything at that age other than cry when poop, cry when hungry, try to mm. use words because it makes your mom happy, and fucking, you know, whatever. But, like... Yeah, that everything else in the world is completely foreign to you, you know, and and that that little like moment of realization, that's like a psychedelic trip on itself, you know, because it's yeah. just like, whoosh, yeah, you know. <clears throat> I'm sure there may- is some some fucking fireworks in the brain at that moment. Oh, gotta be right. It makes sense because I think my earliest my earliest memories are probably from about three or four. I, I don't think. know if it has to do with actual memory or not. I think no, it's more just I'm, like a self-awareness. I'm sure people probably do like uh, have memories from earlier. But I mean, like when I think about when I first start, I first remember becoming like sentient, if that makes sense. It seems like that's about the Fuck. same time. I don't remember yeah. becoming sentient. Yeah, I don't know. That's just what I'm... You, re- that, you remember the moment that you became sentient? Well, like, you remember be, being sentient. Like, you know, because, like, I mean, there's adults that don't even realize that they're sent. Like, they don't even think about themselves, right? There's people that go through their life that never stop and just think about the way they think. Who they are in the universe, what it all means. They're just fucking nose to the yeah. grindstone, fucking go, 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 No, go. those are dumb people, dude. You're yeah. describing dumb people. Right. I think yeah. anybody that's kind of smart <laughs> considers the possibilities of things beyond their existence. I mean, maybe. Dude. I don't think everybody does, though. I, th- I, think, I, th- I, I don't think necessarily I, it's even I people think, that are dumb. I think people get fucking busy, dude. I think yeah. people get real busy. Yeah, but I'm, but I mean, like I'm busy and I'm still, you know, constantly in an existential crisis. So, well, yeah, maybe that's part of the reason you feel so busy, though. That, like I wish I was dumb sometimes. Dude. <laughs> Just like, yeah, dumb, dumb. Go to work, <laughs> go to work, do whatever. Push button, make money. Now I push, go home, hit wife, button, eat dinner, hit, hit wife, do podcast, wife, do pod, watch football. <laughs> yeah, watch football. <laughs> good. Football good, eat good, poop good, go yeah. sleep. Yeah, that'd yeah, be fucking that sounds, awesome. That sounds that sounds pretty good. That sounds actually. really really good. Yeah, no, no, not at all, dude. In fact, I get beat by my wife. So you know, it's quite the opposite. Actually. Is that right, dude? We should talk about that. Um, I mean, it's 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 nice. You know, A nice I don't beating. mind. I don't mind a little bit of a smack across the face. You know. It's not too bad. It makes me feel alive. Right. right. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna want that. Mm. Something that me and Kiralee were talking about on Friday uh, stuck with me really well was, um, and because it was actually making me think about the conversation you and I had last week. I think it was um, about like my my anger issues and my feeling of feeling volatile and, and all that. And um, we were talking about, uh, <laughs> we were just sitting there and we were like, um, you know, sometimes I just feel really aggressive. And Kiralee's like, yeah, me too. And I was like, yeah. Like, and we both have the same thing where we, like, there's times where we just, there's just this animalistic, primal, angry, fucking asshole side of us that just wants to, like, 
completely plans out how I'm going to break this person's arm. You know what I mean? Like, I, I see them, they're fucking pissing me the fuck off. Mm. And I just, like, I'm just, you know, I, I don't, obviously. Sure. Because that's fucked up. And shouldn't got, do that. Shouldn't do that. Not socially acceptable. And just kind of a rude thing to do. And pretty, like, over the top, to, you know, for the situation, right? But still, man, there's this weird part of me that's just, like, thinks about it. And just like, oh, this is how I would do it. I'd break his arm in these three spots. And then I would fucking dislocate it from the shoulder blade, rip it off, and then beat him to death with it. Mm. Um, and then walk away. Maybe spit on him. I don't know. You know, it, it's just fucked up. And, yeah. and like, I, I have those thoughts. The spit's so. a bit much after you ripped a man. After you broke and then ripped a limb off. And then hit him with that broken limb. Right. The spit is a bit much. It's a little bit much, right? Yeah, you're right. I'll, I'll take the spit. I'll be a nice guy. I'll, uh, I'll sans the spit, okay? Okay. Sans the yeah. spit. Yeah, yeah. I was like, that, dude, the spit's where you lost me. Yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> I was like, it's kind of a dickhead mm-hmm. thing to do. Yeah, yeah. I don't, you don't but, uh, spit on him, dude. Okay, so so uh, you and you and Kiri were having this conversation about anger. Mm. Yeah, it was like, um, well, it was just interesting because, like, we, we both kind of have, like, we have vastly different upbringings and in family situations, but our life and growing up was very similar, and we still have fucking, not, not the same, but, like, similarly aligned trauma. Trauma? Trauma. 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 Tra- traumatic experiences, I guess. Um the way it developed over time. And so we both kind of have this mutual, weird, primal anger about us, right? And and it's funny because we both have um, Clarks in our family. So Kira Lee's dad's side of her family is the Clarks. Uh, my grandma, her family are the Clarks right? in, in the States. Yeah, weird, right? Um, like, uh, like a... Like somewhere deep, deep in the family tree, like you and her have the same, like great, 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 great granddaddy great, or great, something. Great, great grand, maybe I don't know. Clark's kind of a common name as well, you know. So I mean, it a lot of people could have just had Clark, especially immigrants, um, would would change their name sometimes sure. if they, you know. So it's possible. I'm not really sure, but it's funny because in both cases, in her family, Clark's, and my family, Clark's. Those sides of the family are fucking assholes. Just absolute fucking dicks. They're fucking mean. They're fucking aggressive. They're uh, conniving and sneaky. They stab each other in the back. They fucking have no loyalty whatsoever. And obviously, and you, we, and you think you got that in. It, there's like that. That's in you somewhere. It is. It has to be right because it's a part of me. It's it's a part of my bloodline. Mm-hmm. Is is this fucking just horrible fucking cunts of per- people, you know? I think, um, dude, I think that's everybody. Like, like, everybody that lived fucking that long ago was was a cunt. Like, you right. were you were either... You, you were either dead or pillaging, so... Right. Yeah. We're all we, the ancestors of pillagers, dude. Well, we're all ancestors of people who survived. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, one way or another, they did. Um, then you gotta... Back, back in the day, dude... There wasn't none of this like Twitter beef, dude. It was like I'm no. I'm getting a bunch of my dudes yeah. to come fuck up your house, take yeah. take your wife and child, and now they're mine. Yeah, they're now my wife and child, and you are castrated. Uh, no more offspring that's, for you. That's best case scenario. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you might just be dead. Uh, mo- yeah. More than likely, death occurred. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. I think I think now. Just, just having thought about it and talked it out, um, I think like I've got a better handle on, and this is obviously just from Friday, so fucking shit changes. But like even last week, uh-huh. throughout the week, I was getting a better handle on how I felt, and why I felt the way I did. Um, I've been reading the subtle art of not giving a fuck as well because you, you, know, you you recommended it, um, and uh, it's been making me like stop and ask myself harder questions more difficult questions like rather than like fuck i'm mad why am i mad it's like no why why do you feel so strongly about whatever it is that you're upset about you know what what is it really that you you know you're not mad about the wood 
you're not mad about somebody fucking putting the tag on wrong. What is it really? Are you upset about something that you did? Do you feel bad? And if not, then fucking get over it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of so, shit so like that. Do you think you're, you're like, you've kind of had this, like, I don't know, uh, we'll call it dark mic in mm. you? Bizarro. And, and every, yeah, in the uh, bizarro mic in sometimes fucking boils to the surface. Mm. for brief moments and and you you now feel like that you recognize that and you, then now you're taking steps to you know what like i can like oh i can mitigate this mm. i think it, i think it's about better understanding bizarro mike and i think it's understanding you gotta love words. bizarro mike and dude Got him, the, man. He, ain't that the bitch of it that like yeah. the like the dark side of yourself you have to give him a hug because he's you he needs it. He's so angry. He's you, he needs motherfucker. A hug, bro. <laughs> yeah, and if and dude, if you neglect dark side, you push dark side down. You yeah. feel ashamed of dark side. Mm. <sighs> Not good, man. He's just, he's just gonna get more, more, more dark. dark, more dark, harder to wrangle in when the time comes. More explosive as well. Because you dude. know, the thing about dark Mike and dude, dark Jonah. They might can sit there. They mole on things. They steam over it. They build that pressure up. <laughs> oh, let it build. Let it build. Let it build. Um, yeah. But we need that side of ourselves, right? Because there are times in life where you have to be an asshole. Like you said, there's times just like back in the day where a bunch when, of dudes will come to your house. Yeah, I was like, when the dudes are coming over the hill with the <laughs> with the sharp sticks, yeah. it's time to put on your asshole pants. Yeah, <laughs> dark Mikeins out, nice Mikeins <laughs> out, fucking in. He's he's fucking locked away, dude. Dark Mikeins <laughs> grabbing his axe. Like, All right, <laughs> you look <laughs> like wood. You look like wood. You're made out of wood. Fucking. <laughs> damn dude you would be so terrifying on a battle like a medieval battlefield like you would for sure be like a like a champion you know oh dude, like the, i would be swinging that battle axe like a motherfucker dude. dude i would uh i would definitely you know call uh, i'd be like i like my champion against yours and they they bring out some dude, and I'm like, yeah, he looks tough, but uh, I got a Mike and <laughs> yeah, Actually, dark Mike and's here, dark Mike and's here. <laughs> it's just you doing blackface <laughs> to win a battle axe. <laughs> <laughs> smearing charcoal all over me fucking yeah. punching myself in the forehead and someone pisses in a cup and like throws it at me just to piss me off <sighs> dude you that dude that's who i want on my team when shit's hitting oh, the fan dude yeah yeah he's not he's not a great dude but um he comes in handy i yeah I, I he mean, definitely comes in handy i mean like we live in and like i'm not knocking this this is a good thing we live in soft ass times, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I am soft as baby shit now, dude. I I, I live in the suburbs of of Colorado now, mm. dude. Like I like I have an HOA and I go to a rec center for to work out. Like wow. Like like I this is soft times, yeah. buddy. Yeah. Uh, there's nobody coming knock. There's no wolves at the door. There's but, nobody trying you know, to eat your baby. Dude. But Dark Joan is still in there, you know. And yeah. sometimes you gotta give him a hug. Dude. You gotta be like, "Hey, man, if when shit pops off, I'll come find <laughs> you." But like, I need you to hold it together. Like, we gotta do some <laughs> suburb shit for a bit. Here's a hug. <laughs> just, just calm down, man. Have a cup of tea. Everything's gonna be fine. Dude, the wolves are coming, but you just gotta wait. Just dude, gotta wait. <laughs> when the wolves get here, dude. Call you. You and me, dude. You're you're in. <laughs> you and me, dude. We're we're gonna be real good. We're gonna be yeah. tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, um, I think that's I, why. I understand what um, you mean. That like, hey, like like we want to be primarily more nice. You know, we want to get along with people. We want to mm. brighten people's day and existence and through their interactions mm -hmm. you know enjoy you and your company yeah that's what that's that's the idea that we want um but i don't 
I think like human nature is, is just it's just it's just in there, dude. And there's no getting rid of it. No. And I don't think you're gonna be the nice guy all 100 percent of the time. No, no, I definitely don't think so. I don't think that's possible. Um, I think it's much healthier to understand it, um, and then temper it. Right. So I, th- I think part of exercise, the reason exercise is so important is because it helps temper your aggression. It helps um, express some like your strong emotions in a healthy way where you're not affecting anybody else. You're actually building yourself up. Um, you're releasing those fucking serotonins and dopamines and, you know, and it, it just feels nice. But at the same time, you're kind of tempering that that side of you so that when you do use it you have control it's like it's like tempering a sword through fire right you cannot just make a sword you have to fucking beat the fucking shit out of it to get all the the um, impurities out of the metal before it becomes like a strong sword otherwise that shit's just gonna be brittle as fuck bro what are you a fucking marine corps recruiting commercial right now likewise dude the united states marine corps (laughs) will temper your dark side into becoming an absolute (laughs) fucking killing machine so go sign up tomorrow after they're, you listen to this podcast. They're pretty good at it. Uh, it, it it's actually uh, Veterans Day here, dude. So uh, mm. happy Veterans Day, dude. Happy Veterans Day, dude. Um, happy Marine Corps birthday as well. That, happy birthday. Gone past. Happy birthday. <laughs> happy birthday. Yeah. <laughs> happy, happy birthday, birthday dude. <laughs> um, Super fun. Let me, oh, so let fun. me go take a piss, dude. I already fucked this up. And I'm going to grab yeah. another drinky poo. And I'll be right cool. back. Cool beans. I'm going to go grab some coffee as well. No piddle that time, dude. Nailed nice, it. Nice, dude. Fuck yeah. Nailed it. Sorry, I was just trying to open this, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Oh, never you mind. Look, I got it. You look really strong. What is it? This is... A, thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was Curly's Christmas present. I got her one of them. Um... I'm trying to talk really quiet. She's still asleep, but I don't want her to know what it is. It's a fountain pen. Oh, like for like calligraphy? Um, no, it's not, it's not so much for calligraphy, just for writing in general. But fountain pens are a little bit different in that they have, um, like, you put the ink in the top, and mm-hmm. it has a real smooth writing on there. It's really smooth. So I got her this. It's an iguana green fountain pen. Hmm. And then it it's like that, see? Yeah, dude, that that looks like uh the kind of shit of that you like signed the like the hipster declaration of independence. Yeah. Like you yeah. you'd use that pen. Yeah, this is this is where this is how they're going to fucking rule the world. This is how they're going to yeah, sign like, away our fucking <laughs> Yeah, like, it, like that's the pin for the job, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this, this is the one they use to make sure that everybody knows that they're all trans. Everybody is trans. And this yeah. is the one they signed that document with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that's a, that's a really nice gift. Yeah, I'm, I'm terrible at buying gifts, uh, so I asked her what she wanted, and she threw a bunch of things at me, and then um, I forgot them all. Uh Asked her again the next month, and then I remembered fountain pen. You want to know the things. secret to 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 buying gifts for people? I think yes. being a good gift giver. Yes, please. Whenever you're hanging out with that person, and something comes up throughout the year that you're like, "Hey, that's this is this could be potentially a good gift," or they mention that they would like something. Yeah. You pull out your phone and you write it down. <laughs> what? <laughs> write it, r- r- write dude, it down. Dude, it's annoying, right? It's annoying to be like, I just had a thought. I'm going to pull out my phone and I'm going to write something down. Right. But uh, that that's paid me dividends mm. as far as. So instead of being like, okay, fuck, it's almost Christmas. Like, what the fuck do I get you? 
Yeah, yeah. Like I don't know. Like honestly, I don't know what the I don't know what the fucking get Janie right now. I don't. I, <laughs> we just got a house together. I'm like, I'll get you another yeah, toilet, I bitch. You, I bought you a house. Okay. I'll fucking, I'll, fucking I'll, I'll, I'll install a new toilet for you. <laughs> Would you like that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll 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 put the handles on the cabinets. Would you like that? <laughs> well, it's funny. Uh, bec- it's funny because as you get a house now, now your gifts are gonna start being things for the house, right? You're gonna start buying fucking shit for landscaping for for Christmas or for for Valentine's Day. You might get or not mm-hmm. just a thing of flowers, but it's probably a fucking rose bush. And I'm gonna get her a vacuum. Oh shit, dude! Yeah, fuck yeah, that'll go really well. <laughs> Anniversary <Julie>. gift. <laughs> uh, her dad got her mom a vacuum one year for. I mean, don't get me wrong, fucking sick ass vacuum, and a yeah. vacuum that I too would be excited about, dude. Like, yeah, yeah. When, dude, whenever you get a house, dude, you you like, damn, let's get a nice vacuum, dude, because mm. that shit makes a difference. Yeah, yeah. When you got a shitty vacuum. We used a shitty vacuum for years, dude. <laughs> Remember that stupid shop vac? We I got using? a shitty vacuum, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's fu- it sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you, we used a shop vac for a vacuum? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I just vacuumed the whole house with a shop vac. That's fucking horrifically terrible. Why? Shop vacs are strong, dude. They suck. They've got sucking power, dude. Th- th- they do. You're right. But, like, the whole house, dude, you're going to... It wasn't like, that's like yeah, it's like it on a tube, easy. dude. Did you did you even have like the extension bit to make you could stand up straight while you did it, or you just like uh, I just mean, I knelt had, down and like I spot treated <laughs> the whole house once yeah. more at a time? I mean, I did have like the tubes. I did have a long handle, but it wasn't long enough for me to stand up. I still had to like bend over. And, <laughs> you know, so. It was yeah, like probably dude. worse than just doing spot dra- spot cleaning. You know, it's like fucking bro, like a half bro, I'm, punch. I'm legit worried about my, uh, like my neck. Mm. It, in that, like, uh, I work from home, right? And I'm I'm working on a computer, mm. so I'm like just bent over, typing all the time, looking at my mm. phone, fucking doing whatever. And I'm like, damn, dude, I need to, I need to start consciously fucking keeping my goddamn head above my shoulders and not fucking lint out. Ugh. And I'll, then I'll just be one of those like hunchback old bitches. I don't want that at all. Hunchback old bitches, you're gonna look like one of those teen girls that's been on their phone for too long. They're fucking head know, forward dude. like this, and fucking yeah, their, their neck all fucking punched yeah, up the dude. back, dude. And fucking yeah, dude, your, your that's posture what I'm, gets bad. That's what I'm worried about. Dude, you don't worry about like a curve. I'm worried about that with Janie story. too. Like, uh, I think our postures do suck, man. And mm. like, it's only getting worse with uh, these jobs we have. So, yeah. Well, have you guys like thought about maybe doing some couples yoga twice a week or something like that? Getting back into that because that helps with your posture. That sounds kind of nice. That mm. sounds like just the kind of suburb shirt I'm into. Yeah, dude, for sure. Dude. Do they have? Oh, that's a thing I didn't ask. Do they have classes and stuff at that rec center? Bunch, dude. Uh, yeah. I actually went. I went today to to sign up for it. So, uh, f- for this entire section of of Colorado where I live, um, they they made they built these like four rec centers that you have free access to through okay. your HOA. Yeah. So you have to you you do pay for it, but it's like the same price as like like my HOA is like fifty bucks a month, which I feel yeah. like is very similar to a fucking gym. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty a close. Gym yeah. membership. So I'm like, like a ah, cheap right. gym, gym membership as well because they yeah. get expensive. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, so all right, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll just do that. And so I went today to, to sign up and get my like access card and everything. And I went and toured it a bit, and w- dude, the thing that I wasn't ready for, um, and I think I, I think I actually had like a like a nice moment earlier that I'll, I'll tell you about. Mm-hmm. But um, this whole place is insane, dude. There's like a golf simulator. There's like multiple pools. Like one of them's like an Olympic size thing. 
Whoa. Uh, there's like a room for classes. There's a whole weightlifting area. There's a track that runs oh, through like and through track. it all. Yeah, Shit, a bunch of cool. a bunch of basketball courts. And uh, um, th- this was a Saturday mid morning, right? And mm. dude, there was so many fucking kids here. It was insane. <laughs> and there was like a ba- like a girls basketball tournament going on. Oh, and I was wow. walking the track, and like from the track, you can look down onto the courts, and like there's yeah. like this whole thing, like so many parents there, like these these girls playing basketball, and like, and like this uh, this girl, like the, like they're not good, right? They're just like kids fucking around pretty much, and there's like dads trying to like kind of direct traffic, they yell at them like, "Oh, go pick it up, run!" <laughs> no, okay, don't. Uh, too many stats. Uh, too many stats. God damn it, <laughs> Samantha! <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's, there was. It looked like there was a little bit of that, um, but then, but then this girl hits like a like a turn fadeaway jumper, dude. Off the backboard, right in the hoop, oh. and the the whole place goes nuts, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like this girl's just so pumped, <laughs> and uh, I was like, "Damn, that's cool." That's and you cool. were like at the top, receiving all the energy up. Like, yeah, just like, yeah, oh. yeah. I was like, I was like, that's cool. And it def, I, I definitely had a moment of like, "Fuck, mm. I'd like to be a like a dad," you know. Yeah, be a parent down there. That yeah. be your kid hitting yeah. that fucking that three pointer, just fucking. Damn. Yeah, dude. That's my kid. That's my kid. Right, right, right. Yeah. And, uh, dude, I, I mean, honestly, we we only lived here two weeks, but I'm like, if we're going to this rec center all the time, dude, we're gonna like we're we're around so many more kids and families now that I'm like, mm. we're definitely gonna have a fucking kid soon. Almost yeah. for sure. Yeah. Janie getting that baby fever yet? Or she's like thinking about it, feeling it. I think I think we're going to go work out at the rec center tomorrow. And I bet. <laughs> I was oh, like. I think this is a kid. So, yeah. 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 Toast, dude. Yeah. She's going to be milking these balls, dude. Dude, I hope you enjoy your free time now while you have a little bit of it still. And I know it's not a lot. <laughs> You're right, dude. I mean, fuck it, you know? <laughs> fuck, fuck it. Dude. Fuck it, dude. It's, hey, that's life, man. I mean, that's I mean, that that's what it all boils down to, right? Yeah. You're born. You get fucked up. You meet somebody else that's similarly fucked up as you, and your fuck up this is compatible, and you guys survive long enough to procreate. Make some more kids, fuck them up a little bit, you know, <laughs> and sure. then that the cycle continues, dude. Just gotta know? carry the torch, huh? <laughs> gotta carry, the, gotta keep going, gotta keep on chugging, dude. Yeah, um, it's not, it's not a bad thing. It's, you know, I, I don't, don't, th- don't get me wrong. Like, I don't think you're gonna fuck your kids up, you know. But like, we're, we all ways. would, it, but we all will, right? Like, in a little yeah. bit, even, you know, you don't I even mean, know I, it. I mean, like, the ideal is to to do it. Uh. As little as possible, right? right? Like you're you're gonna fuck something up. You're gonna make some kind of mistakes. You're gonna fucking imprint some fucking personality defect yeah. into yeah. these kids. <laughs> it's it's gonna, gonna happen. happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just hope that it's not anything too bad and then not too many of those. Yeah. 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 But uh, no, dude, I'm, I'm I'm really not worried about that. I, I no. guess no. The the thought of like fucking up a kid doesn't doesn't really concern me. Just because I'm like, I'm like, this is how it goes. Like you mm. you just get born and then you fucking figure it out. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't really have no one really had a choice. No, to mm-hmm. to be born or not, and no. I'm just like, hey, hey, welcome. Let yeah. me show you the ropes. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. I had to do it, and now you do too. Hey, welcome Bitch. to existence, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that nice black void where you were comfortable and warm. <laughs> It doesn't yeah. exist anymore. Get the fuck it's out of here. <laughs> you got problems now. 
yeah, your back's gonna hurt someday for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> You got big issues now, son. Figure it out. Figure it out, dude. You got to figure out why you're waking up at 2 a.m. every morning needing to shit your pants. You got to figure that shit out. Good luck. (laughs) At least there's resources now. More so than there was in the past, right? Like, you can go online and look up a million different facts and opinions and methods and all this stuff on how to raise. Maybe that's a bad thing, though, too. Maybe it's, it's too it's too much. I bet. Like, yeah. Like, I bet I'll be the guy that's that's reading a lot of that shit. And you know, I'm, I'm trying to. Like, Janie's pregnant. I'm trying to fucking not be a shithead dad. Let me read a fucking article, book, watch a video, whatever. Yeah. Um. But it's that's a saturated market, homeboy. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot yeah. of people with a lot of fucking opinions. Yeah, a lot of shitty ones as well. <laughs> Yeah. Uninformed opinions, um, poorly reformed opinions, you know. But like, uh, but you don't know shit, so differentiating between all these options yeah. is kind of tough. <laughs> you can't tell, dude. Not until you've done one, and you're like, well, that didn't work very well. <laughs> well, yeah. It, I, I mean, I mean, I, I think that's where having like, uh, like good grandparents is useful. Mm. Yeah. Because like you, because you kind of get like another opinion. You'd be like. Mm. Hey, fucking! I'm hearing this. Have you ever heard this shit before? Or, or like, or like they say some fucked up shit, and you're like, I don't know. Yeah. Let me Google that. <laughs> that doesn't. And seem then it right. turns out you're like, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that happen a lot, dude. <laughs> yeah. I mean, my yeah. grandma used to fucking put like feed a sherry and 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 rum to get us to calm down when we're babies. Oh, I was like, what the fuck, sherry? Yeah, alcohol, the sherry, alcohol, sherry, sherry, alcohol. So what is that? Like a, it's like um, like a wine. Of I sort? think it's like I think it's like a a wine liquor, a wine liqueur. Yeah, like a plum. What is there? A plum? Uh, I'm sure liquor? there is plum sherry. Yeah. I don't know. Well, okay. Uh, I don't know. I'll, so I'll I don't look know. it up, dude. I'll look it up, dude. Nah, fuck what? that. Just guess. Okay, it's um, it's fucking uh, what they do is they take a plum, and they fucking inject it with steroids, and then they fucking okay. get real juiced up and horny, and then he jerks off into a bottle, and that is sherry. What does it taste like? Plum jizz. <laughs> All right. Nice shit, hey? Yeah, that's I'm gonna go my pick guess, me up dude. a bottle of sherry. <laughs> like, sold. That's, that's my guess. <laughs> oh, that sounds pretty nice, dude. What are you talking about, dude? You've you've had it before. <laughs> yeah, but it's probably why I'm your so grandmother up in the was, head, dude. You know? did you? I don't know, dude. She was giving uh, me that shit because I was teething. She's like, here, shut up. <laughs> Fucking calm down. I think that's I think that's a thing, dude. Like you take a little bit of like whiskey and like put it on their gums. Yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah, it's because it gets them drunk and they don't feel the pain anymore. So it works. Is that, that what works? you're saying, dude? Yeah, yeah. It also, I'm pretty sure. And and don't don't, don't quote me on this, okay, guys. Don't don't quote me on this one because I don't really fucking know. This is my guess as okay. an adult that also doesn't have any kids of my own. Okay, sure. But if you do that, I'm pretty sure that's how you develop alcoholism. Nah. Early onset alcoholism. Because I love liquor. I love drinking whiskey. And I love plum drinking juice. sherry. Plumges. I love just fucking putting plumges all down my throat and fucking into my stomach. I love it. I think that's just... Uh, I think something to do with joining the military. I don't think that con- helped. Probably contributed to your, well, your love of plumges. Maybe the reason I joined the military is because I was introduced to plumges too early in life. That's a good point, dude. I gotta call mm. my mom and ask her and if she gave ass. me whiskey. Did you put, blo- did you put <laughs> plumges in my mouth when I was a kid? Are you the reason I fucked up? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> she like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what yeah, the fuck. Dude. What the fuck do you mean? <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm gonna call uh, my grandma and be like, mm. "Hey, bitch ass. <laughs> hey, bitch ass." <laughs> Did you put plunges in my mouth as a child? Yeah, we all did it. <laughs> it was just what we did back then. Oh. See, that's the thing is that like I'm 
that probably made perfect rational sense back in the day. And I'm going to do things with my kid that make perfect rational sense for this time period right now that, you know, 50 years from now, they're going to be like, I can't. Oh, you did if you <laughs> if your grandma did that, like they fucked you up. Yeah, yeah. You that's the reason you are autistic is because your dad gave you plumages when you were a kid, put it all over your gums. Now you're autistic and probably fucked up. I don't know, man. I think that's all right. Dude, you know, you're not selling me on this. As a as just a bad thing to. Give I'm not your saying kid a it's little, necessarily a bad thing. I'm just saying it's probably not a great thing. Give your kid I mean, a little the, plumages to help the teething <laughs> process. Yeah, I mean, sounds sure. all right to me. Sounds pretty good. It's better than you crying all the time, I suppose, isn't it? Um, and being <laughs> in pain sure is better than, for me. I'm not dealing with that. No. <laughs> well, do you exactly want? Why she do you want it, daddy to throw you against a wall? <laughs> or do you want to get a little bit drunk? You yeah, pick. Grab you, grab you by the feet and shake the baby, dude. Or <laughs> do you want to? Do you want to take a little nap? Yeah, a nap, nap. <laughs> have a little, have, have a little spicy juice and take a nap. <laughs> Oh, Which one's better for the kid's survival? You know, I think it's, uh, I think it's the yeah, latter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the latter. Yeah. Wow. Um, that's fucked up. <laughs> Some, something else that's yeah. fucked up. I've got yeah. to tell you, dude. This is what I wanted to tell you about earlier, but I wanted oh. to wait for this. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. So on Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday. Okay. Um. Woke up in the morning, normal day. There I was, getting up, shitting, showering, shaving, all that fun jazz, you know, doing the thing, right? Normal day. Okay. Start driving to work. My phone service just doesn't fucking, isn't working. I'm like, what the fuck? I tried to change my song I was listening to or whatever, and it just stopped. I'm like, what the fuck? So I get to work, and I'm like, fuck, I forgot something at home, so I couldn't call the fucking boss could I because my phone wasn't working and so I'm like well fucking shit so I, I let somebody know I zip back home grab the thing I forgot came back phone still not working go up to the fucking go up to work hey sorry you know about that fucking phone's not working he's like yeah that's all right nobody's is I'm like what he's like yeah no but nobody who has Optus is, is working right now I'm like come again what is, is that like the AT&T of yeah, fucking it's just one of the Australia. telecom companies. Yeah, one of the telecom companies. So what happened, okay, is that Optus, like the the entire entirety of the telecom company itself, Optus, just stopped working entirely, okay? Now, it has over 10 million users in Australia, right? So 10 million people Australia-wide couldn't use their phones not only could they not use their phones but they couldn't make sos calls either they could okay. not call emergency services on their brick phones they were completely bricked right not only that but down in fucking new south wales and victoria their train lines are run off of the optus network so none of the train lines could function okay None of, none of the fucking hospitals that were using it could get phone calls. They couldn't because because they've got like Optus Internet and Optus. It was all the Internet lines, all the phone lines, all, everything. The whole thing went down and it was down all day long. It was from fucking 4 a.m. to fucking 4 p.m., dude. It was fucking down. Damn. Catastrophic failure. OK. Huge catastrophic failure. Fucking caused all sorts of shit. Right. Yeah. And so. And this, this is the thing is, right, and this is where it gets a little bit weird, is that I've been trying to find information, right, about what it is that happened, how many people were affected by it, right? And there isn't any. There isn't any information about what actually happened. I'm pretty sure it got hacked like it was a fucking, um, uh, like a virtual attack, you know, because they've been, they, they have those here all the fucking time. It's not the first time Optus has had one of those either. Um, but you know, I digress. Um, like, a, the other thing, like a cyber attack from like another country. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cyber attack from another country. I'm not saying it's China, but you know, it probably is. Um, and so 
The other thing that there's no information about is how many people were affected by the actual lack of SOS calls, right? Because if you lose service on your phone right now, like all the service goes down, mm. you can still call 911. Or here it's triple yeah. zero. You can still yeah. call the SOS, right? But that was completely that wasn't they they, they the, what they've done is they've um they've locked it so that if your if your fucking service fucking cuts out, your phone doesn't talk to the other telecom companies fucking towers even to make an SOS call, right? So there's all these people and I wonder and I've been trying to find out how many people died, right, from not being able to call triple zero, not being able to call fucking emergency services. How many people in the hospitals had no idea what the fuck was going on? Uh, ambulances couldn't make any fucking pickups because their fucking services were all based off of Optus as well. It was it was Dude. catastrophic. But there's no information about it. I mean, the no information part's weird, but also, mm. I'm kind of like, that's like a good reminder of like just how fragile this system is. Well, yeah. Because the fucking the fucking power could go out, dude, mm. and then all of a sudden shit's hitting the fan. Yeah, and you yeah, know and who we're gonna need <laughs> when shit hits the fan, dude. Dark Mikan. Dark Mikan. Oh, dark dark battle axe Mikan. He coming, boy. He's yeah. coming for your Cheetos. Uh, but yeah, no that that is that is a weird thing. I, I mean. Mm. I mean that sucks. Uh, for for everybody that got affected by it, certainly you know right. you're not able to call the emergency services need be. Mm. But uh, I don't know. I mean, also like just meet your neighbors, you know, fucking. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the thing too. Is like, like pers on a personal level, I didn't mind not having access to my phone. I just flicked that shit on fucking airplane mode. Didn't need to look up anything. Didn't need to go. F and I, it felt nice not flicking through Facebook or Instagram or whatever even when I had free time. It was just nice to just communicate with people. You know, it's weird that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but at the, but where it got me was, is you're right. It's the, it's the, how fucking delicate the infrastructure is. Because if that much infrastructure is tied to one fucking company and that company goes down, mm -hmm. right? It's like. What what are we doing? Why 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 are you running all of the train lines, right, in an, an entire city off of one fucking telecom company with no backups, right? I mean, dude, what are you talking about? If you were the fucking leader of the trains in Australia, I feel like you're like, all right, how the fuck we keep these trains moving? Mm. Uh, let's we'll, we'll get a company to talk to each other, and then I have a million other fucking things to think about. Yeah. Um, but hey, we got that company that, to talk to each other. Good, right? Okay, sweet. <laughs> and then that was the last that dude probably thought of it. Like, yeah. don't well, that that dude, dude shouldn't be like, in charge all, then. That, that dude, what are you talking about? What do you mean? He what am I talking doing about? A, he could have been doing a great job, and then just Not all of a sudden enough, he's dude. like, oh fuck. The phone company stopped working? Like, that's crazy, you know? Yeah, but you have a backup plan, you know? At hospitals, when the what? power goes out, they have backup generators to keep powering the machines. You have a what? backup plan. You have an analog system, or you Dude. have a fucking Windows 98 computer on that fucking bitch with a hard line attached to the You don't always need a backup rails. plan, dude. Sometimes you gotta roll the dice, keep the cost low. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, see, that's the that's the problem with fucking businesses though. Now is that they th that's why the stock market keeps fucking crashing that's and the business, housing market. Dog. Is fucked, dude. It's fucked, man. That is. Oh, fucked, dude, dude. we gotta have a backup plan. And what if our backup plan is not good? We got we gotta have a backup plan to our backup plan. Yes, dude. Or dude, if I'm you don't have to... any of those, you stop, reevaluate, and you make a new fucking plan, which the United nah, States nah, Marine nah. Corps will teach you how to do if you go into the recruiting office and sign up tomorrow after listening to this podcast. I know good and well <laughs> that that's not what the fucking Marine Corps teaches you. <laughs> they teach you to figure it the fuck out. Yeah, and make plans. Dude, yeah, yeah, you can make plans all fucking day, but then shit goes sideways, yeah, as in you, the phone company stops working, yeah, and, and Big Mr. Stop. Train Man goes, damn. 
didn't see that one coming, but you know, it'll probably be all right. Mm. And I bet it was all right, dude. Are the trains going again? Oh yeah, they're going again. Yeah, it's all. Well it's then, all look at that, dude. Mister Train Man did it. Fucking three hundred and sixty-four days out of the year, the trains ran smooth as fuck. I call that a win, <laughs> dude. I, I, I wish that was the case, but I don't think it is. <laughs> I think there's been other issues with the trains this year. Yeah. What the fuck <laughs> you do know? you know about the trains, dude? Hey, man, I'm not saying I'm a train expert or anything like that, but uh, trains I'm just saying, are fucking pretty cool, you know. I'm just saying, you're, dude, dude, you're talking shit on Big Train Man when you you haven't walked a mile in his shoes. You haven't chug a chugged a uh, a, a country sure. mile in in those. Uh, metal br- bracket circles i'm sure that mr train man's shoes are really comfortable and i'm sure his ass is really fat from sitting around doing fuck all when the fucking trains are down because the like one goddamn telecom company and not having a backup plan i'm sure he's fucking just rolling in it he's probably swimming in a fucking pool of fucking semen with fucking women pouring plum jizz all over his face and just fucking i don't know jerking off onto a watermelon he's probably having a ball right now dude what millionaire if, guaranteed okay okay what if that's not the case dude, what if this guy works hard to make sure oh. the trains run smooth okay and through through some fucking oh i didn't have a backup plan to the backup plan that there was no sudden, ba- there's no backup plan that's the thing is it was dude, just he was relying about on other one shit, thing dude. Fucking, there's, fucking, there's a lot dude, of shit you gotta think about. That's why he gets paid so much fucking money to be in charge of the goddamn rail. Yeah, company. but then one thing goes wrong and you, you think he's a bad Mr. Train Man? I'm not saying he's a bad Mr. Train Man. I'm saying he's a failed Mr. Train Man. Damn, dude. What do they teach you about forgiveness in fucking the Marine Corps? Did they teach you anything about that, dude? He did no. his best. Dark, dark Mike and was present for most of my Marine Corps career, and I don't think he listened to that part of the, about the forgiveness bit. Damn, dude! I think I think Big Mister Train Man was doing his best, and sometimes you come a little short. Well, sometimes your best isn't good enough. It doesn't change the fact that you have to face the responsibility of fucking what happened. Well, if I'm Big Mister Train Man, which I think I am at this point, I think I've yeah. defended his position <laughs> appropriately enough to consider myself, to, yeah, you're Big Mister Train Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would say. Hey, look, bitches. Hey, look here. <laughs> look here, motherfuckers. Uh, the train's been running real fucking good for the most part. Yeah, we have some we have some little hiccups along the way. But for the most part, fucking train goes, shit moves around where the fucking needs to go. And that's that. Sometimes through things I can't control, fucking other companies fucking up. Mm. Sometimes trains don't go so good. But... I'm here to tell you that for the most part, like 95% of the time, shit's on shit's on schedule. You know, 5% of the time, we're working on it. Yeah. So, everybody, please shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, is that what you say is Mr. Big Train? Big Mr. Train Man. Official yeah. word. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, in my world, dude, Mr. Big Train Man says that to me, dude. Oh, he hold on, hold on, up, bro. hold on. There's a uh, there's a question from the audience. Uh, yes, sir, you there? Uh, you have something to say to Big Mister Train Man? Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, Big Mister Train Man. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Hey, dude. Hey, I, I got a question for you. Yeah, I'm listening. Um, how come you get paid so much even though you don't solve any of the problems? <sighs> a good question. Um, hey, look, like. We do our best around here, and sometimes our best isn't good enough. Right. I understand that, and we're making changes constantly to to correct our defaults and make sure things like this don't happen again. Mm. If I've got a question for you, Mr. Big Train Man. Big uh, yes. Train Man. Yes, you there. Um, if your best that isn't good enough results in somebody getting killed, do you think you should be held responsible for that death? Um, of I'm course gonna, not. I'm gonna big quote. Mr. Train Man 
Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt you, Mr. Hey, Crane, man. Excuse me. I'm talking. Please. Yeah. yeah sorry. You asked the question. You had your time to ask the question. Now I. This is my time to answer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna quote a wise and old and noble philosophy, um, in that sometimes shit happens. And, and tell you what, uh, I'll give you a number two. Okay. Uh, sometimes if you want to run a train system, uh, you got to break a few eggs. Oh. I said that one. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that one. Yeah. Yeah. That's very good. Thank you, big Mr. Train Man. Yeah, hey, hey, you're welcome. Hey, pay your taxes. <laughs> yeah, pay your taxes. Keep giving yeah. me money. Yeah, 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 no, no, no sweat, dude. And um, any I'm, other questions? I'm physically liable to do so. Otherwise, I go to prison. So you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I yeah. give you a little. little. <laughs> 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 you do open up out face. You go walk into your limo with like 15 chicks in the back of it, naked. Dude, you think you think big big Mister Train Man is just rolling in pussy? Like, why do you think yes. that? It's a private, own, privately owned company, dude. The dude that runs it is fucking multi-millionaire. Of course he's rolling in pussy. They might not like him, but they're there. Still fucking him. I'll have you know that I love my wife very much. And? And I also love pussy. <laughs> yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I am aware. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> And man, I love pussy. Can't get enough of that shit. You know what I'm saying, dog? And then he, he offers you a fist bump, dude. Huh? Yeah, you fit. I mean, come on, you get it. You fist bump that. You can't. You gonna you gonna not fist bump pussy, dude? Hey, no, I, I can get down on some pussy, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and bam, reelected just like that. Yeah. Man. I mean, if he, if if he fucking you know sign if some if some presidential candidate right came forward and said, listen, federal edict, I'm putting it into writing as soon as I get elected president, free pussy and dick for everybody. Whenever you want, however much of it you want. That person would get elected instantly. Absolutely. How are you going to do that, dude? Are you doing robot? Like, oh, we don't need like to think robot about that. Pussy that, doesn't, that doesn't matter. We're just going to do it around. Oh, we're just no, going to promise. Think, we're just going to promise pussy and dick for all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, I think, I think the robot pussy and dicks is probably a good idea. You know, like those fucking um, those yeah, well, it, milkers. The other alternative is uh, uh, sex human trafficking. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not do that. Yeah, that'll. <laughs> Probably not get you elected, but dude, yeah. you you're. I think you might be on to something. Honestly, yeah. maybe some fucking robo robot puss, dude. I think that there's a right for every American to get <laughs> pussy fucking and dick whatever they want. <laughs> whatever they want. <sighs> the roars from yeah. the crowd. I'm I'm gonna make sure every man, woman, and child has it's a sex robot pussy. to fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> create a bunch of fucking robo sexuals dude futurama was right again dude <laughs> yeah and uh, you probably get elected if you promised free robot pussy and dick for everybody mm. as long as it's good robot pussy and dick you know i don't have think to it has one. to be that good you don't think so <laughs> honestly to get elected i think the bar is one. pretty low dude yeah right wow Come, i think you right, could dude. Yeah, dude, I, I I get some refurbished units, you know. Mm. A lot refurbished of, units. Yeah, a lot of lot of refurbishedness going Re around. Dude. Recleaned, you know. Well, you die. You you don't just throw away your sex robot. Shit gets recycled. Yeah, I mean, sure, it would take time to produce that many robo pussies and dicks. Mm. But once you when you know once you made a f a few a few mil of them, dude. Mm. You've got some Probably extras just in case. 360 yeah. mil worth. Yeah, yeah you have, have some extras, I reckon. Just a few um, mil, yeah. I, you know, just keep it going, dude. Yeah. Maybe, I know a lot of people would say Maybe you that would shit. pass your robot pussy down to your son, oh, you know? Oh, like, right. Whenever, yeah. whenever you take your final breath. 
You Sorry. go, hey, I want you to, I want you to have Helga. Take her. She's yours now. <laughs> She's a little bit used, but you'll, <laughs> you'll grow to love her just as I have and my daddy had and his daddy right. before him. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. And that's the thing. Helga takes care of him too, dude. You, you yeah. know that in your, in your heart of hearts. Yeah, yeah. You know the hell you know the Helga is holding that boy down. No 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 dramas. No. Gets a nut every time. Every time, dude. And fast. <laughs> you know. Fucking yeah, quick. She's good at she, her job. she knows, dude. She she's Helga's got it figured out. She's got the algorithm perfect for each of his. She knows based off of your mm -hmm. DNA that she gets every day exactly what you want she can tell some things about you certainly <laughs> yeah, for sure machine learning <laughs> yeah so do we give do we, are we just creating like a fucking army of sex sex robots uh if you want to get elected i mean what happens if like you know optus goes out and like all the fucking sex robots lose connection for the fucking entire server dude then what happens um Oops. I don't know. All right, big guess... Mr. Big Mr. Robot Sex Man, what are you gonna do? What's your backup plan, <laughs> bro? I'm already, I'm already on Mars. If I'm Big Mr. Robot Sex Man, <laughs> I'm already living on Mars. Like you can't get to me, dude. <laughs> Y'all get fucked, bro. Oh, Good you're gonna we can throw a fucking pitchfork and a torch from Earth. Good luck hitting me, motherfucker. You already gave me every every ounce of money and gold and anything valuable you had for <laughs> for, for Helga. Just, for Helga, because you were Helga renting that. Sh you didn't you didn't own her, bitch. You were renting her. You and oh, your daddy. Oh, so it's like a lease, dude. You just lease it for generations. It's a service, I reckon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you're it's subscription. It, much yeah. like the telecom companies. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta don't pay for that function very well every yeah. month yeah. dude you yeah. don't you don't pay you don't pay the the fucking the dick chops itself off or like it like Whoa. it goes internal yeah oh shit it's just so it's you, just a ken doll all of a sudden oh no yeah That'd be rough fucking tragic like you what if it happens while you're inside it I, it, it does just it cut your, dick, your off. dick off dude fuck yeah man and that's gonna happen dude sometimes like a very small percentage of dicks will get cut off from bodies. Mm. But for the most part, doing a pretty good job, you know? A lot of a lot of people come in, a lot of people a lot of people's lives are improved. Mm. There's no solutions, only trade offs. I guess the secret is to keep the positive experience number so high that the fucking percentage of failure just maintains a really small number. Right. I'm willing to accept a few dicks getting didn't yeah. getting uh cut off um, to of run money. my big successful yeah. uh sex robot business from Mars. Yeah. Well it's not your fault they didn't pay. You didn't choose for them to not pay. Should have updated your card information, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Man, you imagine getting like your wallet stolen? <laughs> and then that's you're the just same scrambling day. dude you're like yeah, oh. that's the same day and then you fucking you, you're like oh, i feel fucking shitty you know and, and i'm just gonna go have sex with helga and then your dick gets cut off because <laughs> your fucking wallet got stolen dude oh no. yeah hey here's the thing though you pay your tab she spits out the dick you maybe maybe you have time to put it back on you know oh great yeah so that's good. but we are holding your dick hostage until you pay yeah, uh, I got a I got a piss really bad, dude. Yeah, uh, where are we do at? Do you want to? We're at an hour. Did you want to get off of here? Yeah, well, let's wrap her up, dude. I can't I can't do two pisses in one podcast. No, that's a that's ride. embarrassing. Right. That is pretty embarrassing. You got a fucking very tiny bladder, and sometimes um, I piddle my pants. Sometimes Captain Piddle Pants comes out, dude. That's, that's just right. another side of you, bro. Um, yeah. <laughs> him and Dark Jonah get on real well. <laughs> yeah, Captain Piddle Pants and Dark Jonah, fucking, yeah, they have oh. a poker game. Together. <laughs> Did you see I fucking made him piddle his pants again? <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, dude, I love you a lot. Thank you for coming on here, everybody. Thank you for listening. If you are, and we will catch you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. I love you, Mike. And goodbye. 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 And Dark Mike. And Dark Mike.